Okay, so you're going to want to click on your Windows button, then click on Computer from there, and click on your C drive. Once you're in your C drive, click the Organize button at the top, and click on Folder and Search Options. From there, you're going to click on the View tab, look down for the Hidden Files and Folders, it's a folder, and then from there, there's a little button that says Show Hidden Files and Folders. You want to click that, hit Apply, and OK, and you should already see your hidden files. And that's the first part. Okay, now that you have your hidden files open, you want to go back down to the Windows button, hit that again, hit Computer. After Computer, do the C drive again, like you did at first, and this is where it gets different. Um, this Next, you open up Users. You're going to want to open up the Users, click whatever your username is. And then, you should see the hidden folder, App Data. Open that one up, that's an important one. And this, I don't know if it's the same for everyone, but for me, it's the Roaming folder that I opened up. And then, click on Atari, then RCT3, Rollercoaster Tycoon, and from there, you'll be able to open up your options. And you'll get this big thing of text. And this is where you do the actual hacking part. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to first copy what I have in my description and paste it here. Okay? So, and then you'll exit out. And it'll ask you if you want to save. And you say, yes, on save. Click save. So, once again, you're going to want to copy what I have. Paste it in here. Make sure you leave a space in between. And then exit and save. Okay? And make sure that you don't just search Atari. Okay? You have to do it the way I just showed you. Okay? Click save. And now to show you an example of what it does, I'm going to open up Rollercoast Tycoon really quick. Uh, just click it. I have this fast forward here. Um, we, so, at this part, this is probably from some custom scenery and what I just did, it'll say it doesn't respond for like half a second right there, but that's all. Go on through, load, play, sandbox, just open up my new sandbox. Okay, nothing really too hard. Just wait as it loads. Again, here, uh, it'll go not responding, whatever. See, oh my god, not responding. Well, I'll just go right back. I think that might be from having too much. Okay, now here's what you can do with it. I just clicked air powered first coaster I had. Uh, see how I can make the track go? That's the point of this cheat. Just make it so that your track could overlap each other. It'll also make it so that two tracks could overlap, which is what I'll show you next. I uh, don't need to test it out and uh, watch the little guy as he overlaps his own track. Okay, now uh, let me delete this really quick. Go to my next part. This is to show you two ones. Um, I have it where our tracks overlap, they go through each other. So ma making two stations. Again, this is just an example of what you could do. You don't have to do this exactly. The only problem I found though by doing this is my game runs a little bit slower. But that's all. Everything else is perfectly fine. Okay. And so now watch this part. You gotta watch carefully as I launch both of them and they'll go through each other. But see, you could easily overlap. Nothing too complicated. And they go through each other and off the sides. And that's a tutorial.